little olive oil so it browns beautifully. Is it gonna give me a man, yes or no? Sprinkle or no sprinkle? I don't ever cook whole chickens because they feel like newborn babies. You know what I mean? Like this is newborn. It freaks me out every time. But we're cooking that, cooking that, kicking that fear to the curb. Kicking that fear to the curb today with Ina Garten's engagement chicken recipe. Now, I'm not trying to get engaged, okay? I'm just greedy. We be eating over here. Subscribe if this is your first time here. If you'd like to eat, if you're gonna be calling us big back in the comments, keep scrolling. Keep it moving. But <clears throat> Jeffrey's Perfect Roast Chicken. She says, recently I met some beautiful young women from Glamour Magazine. They make a roast chicken they call engagement chicken because every time one of them makes it for their boyfriend, she gets engaged. Must be nice. How wonderful is that? <laughs> I don't know. That's the best reason I've ever heard to roast a chicken. This recipe is very much like my original Perfect Roast Chicken in the Barefoot Contessa Cookbook with a few tweaks to make it even more delicious. Boom. Let's get to it. Well, actually, before we get to anything, we got to take this chicken out the bag and wash it. Taking a, a whole chicken out of the bag, the blood, the gut, the juices, I hate that. That's not my cup of tea. But you got to do what you got to do. Okay, I'm going to just put the whole bird in the zinc. <laughs> so all the juices and stuff spill right into the sink and I don't have to worry about getting it all over my counter. I feel like if you grew up with a grandma who said zinc instead of sink, you probably know how to cook. If you had a grandma that said earl instead of oil, you probably know how to cook. Oh, it's so juicy. Can y'all see? It's a juicy one. Okay. Oh. No, for real, I can do this. <laughs> oh god, I know. Okay, no, seriously. I just hold on. <laughs> I hate sticking my hand in the cavity of the chicken and getting the stuff out. Okay, seriously, I'm emotional only because my period is about to start. Okay, um, mm. all right, you guys. <laughs> okay, okay, let's just. Stop thinking about it and get it. Yeah, there we go. There you go. <laughs> Y'all, does this not, is, this is the same size as a newborn baby. Oh my God. Okay. This is why I don't make whole chickens. I almost forgot. But they taste so good. Every time I roasted a whole chicken, it's been the best thing I've ever eaten. But I've literally only done it like twice. This will be my third roast chicken. <laughs> clean i swear i'm not a baby it's just the fact that my period starts in 48 hours okay i can do this i'm, I'm not i'm not a baby so we're gonna get it dry i uh, what is that is that on both no what is going on what is that hold on hold on Okay, this is like, what, chicken liver? Chicken heart that made its way up under the the breast? How? Okay, you know, this is going bad. Um, okay. 
Why was it in there like that? A chicken heart ain't supposed to be all up on here like that. Girl. Okay. I freaked out for a second. If I didn't recognize that piece of flesh as an organ, I would throw this whole chicken away. I'm not playing. But I recognize that piece of chicken. I mean, but that's definitely like heart or liver or something. It just made its way up into the breast cap. Why? Ooh! I was super excited about this like five minutes ago. Honestly, I wasn't expecting it to. Duh. Ugh. Anyways, girl, dry your damn chicken off. Her tailbone kind of sticking out. Get that up out of here. Goodbye. Ugh. Let's pretend the video starts right here, okay? I've got my beautiful, gorgeous, organic, free range chicken. Um, you know, if you go cheap on the chicken, you guys, get it from Walmart you know you might not get the best quality chicken you might be a little traumatized so I would definitely spend the money and get <laughs> okay I'm being stupid I'm trying to make myself laugh because I'm a little <laughs> I'm a little traumatized uh, uh, ew. see it's coming up out of me that's anxiety this is supposed to be fun and cutesy and girly a roast chicken, like a grown woman, I'm traumatized. Okay, let's reboot, let's restart. Do it for Ina, remember why we're here. Our chicken is clean, okay. It says, what's our first step? Preheat the oven to 425. If you're a black mom, take the stuff you store in the oven out first. Step two. Remove and discard chicken giblets. We did that already. Let's go ahead and get the chicken into our little vessel situation. The pot, I don't know why I even said all of that. Um, I'm gonna cook it in here because we make the pan sauce in a pot with the juices. So I figured if I, we put it in the oven in a pan, I won't have to transfer the juice. You know, yeah, you know, yeah. I don't know if I need to spray this, but I feel like I do. then liberally salt and pepper the inside of the chicken. This is gonna be the first time in my life that I've ever seasoned something with just salt and pepper, but I'm trusting the process. What's liberally for a chicken? I don't, on the inside? But apparently this engagement chicken recipe really works. I think to catch the type of man I want, I might need a little lemon pepper sprinkle, Tony Sadri, oh, I mean, you know. But this is cute. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands again. It says cut the lemons in quarters, place two quarters in the cavity along with the garlics. Oh, that's a lemony lemon. I got these from Fresh Mark. Mmm, they smell very nice. Okay, so the whole head of garlic goes in the chicken. All right. Okay, yeah, maybe that all wouldn't fit in there. But that, that's good. Can you see, it's not overstuffed. Oh my God, I'm showing y'all all her stuff. Is it, oh, oh. She was probably a very nice chicken with a husband and two kids and I got her busting it wide open on camera. After putting the lemons and the garlic in the cavity, brush the chicken with the olive oil and sprinkle liberally with salt and pepper and then tie the legs together and spring and tuck the chicken wings underneath the body. She said use olive oil. I would rather use butter, but she said use olive oil and I'm trying to stick to the recipe for the sake of the recipe. <clears throat> she also says brush it in, so we'll do that too. Um, she don't say nothing about lifting up this chicken skin and seasoning like the breasts underneath the skin. I always do that. So um, yeah, we're not skipping that today. Every part of me wants to add more seasoning to this chicken. Let's tuck her little wings back first so they don't burn. 
Okay, we got the lemons in there. She got her wings tucked. We're gonna go ahead and tie the legs together. Cross her legs, she a lady. How do you do this, actually? I haven't done this in a minute. Hold on, wait, come back. Okay, Miss Thing, I'm gonna give you a bow because you a lady. <laughs> Season her a little more. A little more. This pepper don't want to come out. I can't. Can we do a little all-purpose seasoning just for color, please? I mean, I know I just, I just a, like, ooh, a little bit, yeah, okay, cool. Okay, I feel better. It's mostly salt and pepper. You can push that to the back, on to the next step. She said two onions, thickly sliced. already why is this thinking the thick onions and the lemons go in a bowl how thick is thick I know my version of thick. What's Ina's? <laughs> oh, I can't see. <laughs> okay, this feels like too much damn onion. Hold on. I'm gonna keep this. And we'll add a little more lemon action in there. It says toss two tablespoons of olive oil, salt and pepper, and then pour the mixture around the chicken. Okay. So olive oil. Salt and pepper. And then we're done. Really, the chicken goes in the oven and we won't have nothing else to worry about. She says an hour and 15 minutes at 425, but my chicken is a little bit bigger than hers. She a chunky girl. baby chicken okay miss thing and then this just goes around her okay I like it I like it it to be crowded she said if the pan is too big your onions and lemons you know will burn actually let's pick her up and like set her on top of this stuff yeah okay cool okay I'm gonna give the little accoutrements one more little season before we stick it in the oven My eyes are still burning. Okay. Ugh. Okay, she's ready for the oven. Oh wait, let me take a picture. <laughs> you are so beautiful to me. Ugh. Was y'all gonna tell me she had a ball spot? Oh my God. Okay. 425 for at least an hour. Probably about an hour 30. Good luck. Okay. I'm gonna clean up. 
up. It's in this cookbook, by the way. How easy is that? I don't know if I told y'all that. <laughs> and that's in the oven okay she's super cute gorgeous i have no idea how long it's been in the oven um i forgot to set a timer and i was talking on the phone with my friends the whole time i kind of got sidetracked but that ain't no thing we just want to check the temperature and see where we at okay where should i put in the breast girl Ooh, she crispy. <laughs> She's cute, right? Right? Okay, the chicken only needed a few more minutes. It's up to temp. We're good to go. Now it says remove the chicken to a platter. Leave the lemons and the onions in the pan. Cover the chicken with foil and allow it to rest while you make the sauce. Okay, I can do that. Okay, I don't want these big honking pieces of lemon in my sauce, so I'm gonna take them out while we make the sauce. I can serve them like on side the chicken, but I don't want them in the sauce. So I'm gonna move these to the side before we put this on the stove. It's a lot of juices in here. Hey, the sauce is good. I don't think I was recording on this camera when I tasted it and I can't taste it for the first time twice, but it's good. Um, briefly, I'm gonna Google how to carve a chicken because I never do it right. Okay, this is our beautiful little bird. It's really pretty, I don't know, I know. Is it gonna give me a man, yes or no? Sprinkle or no sprinkle? I just watched the tutorial on how to carve it. But I mean, it's going to get ate, whether I butcher it up or not. Okay. Okay. It's super lemony. It smells like a lemon explosion. I'm not going to cut the whole thing. I don't have the patience or the skill. Mm. <laughs> that's good yeah, mm, yeah. <laughs> i'm excited okay let's cut up the breast and get it on a plate Okay, I've made a gigantic mess. There's chicken juice all over the counter, but it's good. I'm gonna try it without the sauce first and then with the sauce. Yeah, she looks good. Okay, I'm excited. Without the sauce, without the sauce. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's good. The salt and pepper came through. Mmm, it's so juicy. 
Let's try it with the sauce. Sticking that whole piece in my mouth was kind of ready. I'm gonna use a knife. <laughs> it's so good and crispy. The skin is crunchy. The chicken is juicy. Let's see with the sauce, with the sauce, with the sauce. Bitch, I might get a husband. That, I get it. I get it. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. No, this is good, you guys. I love it. I'm definitely going to do this again. It's something about roasting a whole chicken that just screams growing and sexy. I had those big business. I roast whole chickens. Okay, Ina girl. I see you. I get it. She ate that.